Sam Bruno of PonyPride.com here with starting quarterback Garrett Gilbert. Garrett, first week's done. How do you feel? Uh, it feels great. I mean, it, was, it was great to get back out on the field and put the pads on again, start practicing, get to know these new guys, and, and uh, get rolling with our offense and start learning everything from coach. And, uh, so, so it feels awesome. Obviously, a little bit tired, you know, what happens in camp, but, but it was good. It was good. I remember last week you were saying that you haven't been in pads in 10 months. How does it feel now you had your first week of it? It comes back quick. I'm used to it again. Obviously, you know, still got a lot to work on um, offensive, offensively, scheme-wise, and, and still trying to, you know, make reads faster and that type of thing. But it, it feels great to be back in the pads. Brad assistant Tommy Chang has been talking to you a lot out there, it seems like. What's he been telling you? Uh, Timmy's got a lot of wisdom, obviously, you know, running this offense, um, I think, uh, 10 years ago or so. And so, obviously, um, from, from a guy like him, you can learn a lot of things. He's one of the most prolific passers in NCAA history, so anytime he's talking, you know, I'm listening. What do you think has been the hardest part this week for you? Hmm. Getting back to throwing so much. Um, getting used to, getting used, getting your arm used to throwing so much in camp. Uh, it's, it's, you know, no matter how much you throw during the summer, how, how often you're throwing, you can't, you can't be used to throwing uh, as much as you're going to throw in camp in the two days. So. You know, on that note, you coming off shoulder, shoulder surgery. How's that holding up? It's fine. Uh, there's there's no pain, um, which is which is a great sign. Uh, only only soreness, so that's something that can be dealt with. And, and you know, obviously, it, it sucks to be sore, but uh, I'm, I'm I'm fine with I'm fine with that. No pain. You know, are you having to do extra treatment still for anything special? Absolutely. You know, I'm not I'm not the uh, I'm, not, I'm not the young guy I used to be. I I got to get in there and get that extra treatment when I can. How's that? Uh, how's it been building a relationship with all the other receivers so far? They they've made it really easy for me. You know, they they were they were very encouraging and welcoming. Uh, even in the spring when I'd come up and watch practice, and then in the summer as we got to go out and throw, they were very willing to get out there and, and put in the extra work. Guys were calling me on our days off and saying, "Let's go out there and let's go out there and work on some routes." So that was that was awesome, uh, football wise. And then obviously off the field, that comes just from being in stuff like this, being able to hang out um, in the locker room at, at dinner and, and meetings and stuff like that. You know, is there one receiver that's really stood out to you so far? I think we're very deep at receiver. Um, I'm excited about the position in general. Um, obviously, you know, uh, the, the Darius has had success in the past, and Jeremy has had success in the past. Um, but I'm really looking. I think Bird and or Derek, excuse me, Derek and Keenan have had a, had a great camp so far too. So I really like where our receiving core is at right now. You know, one the freshman Gary Dieter. What have you thought of him so far? Gary's done a good job. He he was one of those guys that graduated early, but he was coming off surgery, so he wasn't healthy coming in and. He, he worked really hard over the summer, um, getting out there, running his routes, working, learning the offense. So he's been able to, he's been one of those guys that can step in and, 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 and get reps immediately because of that advantage he has. You know, I know I don't want to keep asking you about your past, but how does this camp compare to what you went through at Texas? Um, you know, it, 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 it's, 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 uh, that's, that's a tough question. <laughs> it's, um, you know, camp is camp. Camp is camp, two days or two days. Um, I'm having a lot of fun here. Uh, glad I'm here. How are you adjusting to the city of Dallas? I mean, you're in a new city for basically the first time. Yeah, uh, it's a little different. I've, I've, yeah, like, like you said, I, I've, I haven't been out of Austin too much in my life, so it's it, there's definitely an adjustment, but uh, like I said, the guys have made the adjustment very easily. You know, getting to know people and showing me around places has, has made it pretty easy.